everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is finally a fantastic day here. Let's see what shells we can find after this uh, rough few weeks of storming. I'm pretty stoked to get into it. Let's see what we can find. Alrighty guys, it is another day. It is finally flat. We've had like three weeks straight of super, super swell. So I hope there's gonna be a lot of shells and it looks like we've already started the day off. Hopefully pretty well. It looks like a little bonnet, checkered bonnet down here. Oh, absolutely. Nice little find. It's got another shell in it actually. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I haven't been properly shelling in about, oh, I'd say two and a half weeks. It's just been nuts here, like every day it has been super rough and finally it's a little bit flatter. Pretty exciting. Definitely worth looking around everywhere you can because you might find cool things like this. Wait, wait, is that a giant? Yo, that might be a giant uh, like orange moon snail. I'd never find these. Whoa, that's huge. Holy moly. I never ever get lucky with these. That's definitely the biggest one I've ever freaking found. That thing is huge. Wow, I can't even remember the last time I found one. Wait, is that another bonnet? Guys, if you are new to the channel, usually, like nine times out of ten, after a big storm, uh, which is happening now, we've had storms the last like three weeks, we get bonnets everywhere. Yep. There's another bonnet. Yeah, so after storms here, we get bonnets absolutely everywhere. Stuck in rocks, stuck in pools, stuck everywhere. See, there's a broken one down there. They're just everywhere, so there's two nice ones. Just sitting in this little hole here. Pretty cool. There is a lot of sand around though. But uh, I reckon we'll find some goodies. Awesome. I'm stoked on that one for sure. Let's check it out down here. Something pretty cool here. Two things maybe pretty cool. Uh, we have, I want to grab firstly this mega, absolutely ginormous Hebrew cone. It's sitting like it might be live. Oh no, I thought it might have been live by the way it's sitting, but it must have just been thrown up. Check out the size, number one. And then the pattern, number two. And then the condition, absolutely fantastic. That is freaking nice. Real shame about that uh, break on the lip right there that you can see. But hey, that is absolutely fantastic. That is definitely going in my case. Look at that pattern there. And then I see this. A nice little uh, coral bush. Red coral bush. I'm actually not sure if it is live because like it's on that little root there. So I think I might leave it. I'll probably leave it somewhere in here so it might be able to like keep growing and not get destroyed rather than putting it back out to sea because it'll for sure get destroyed back out in sea. So if I could like dig a little area for it here to maybe grow. See, it's getting constant water supply, so maybe. I don't know how uh, sea bushes work. So yeah, pretty nice. Down in this little tunnel here, Check it out. That is the biggest carrier shell I've ever seen. What? That's huge. What a score. Just picked up this, uh, what is it? Deer carry too. Let me get into the light. Look at that. What a score. That thing is massive. Wow. Drop a like for that one, guys. Wicked finds today. Pretty stoked the water's edge right here and I haven't seen one of these fellas in a long time a live Arabian cowrie and he's huge wow it's beautiful isn't it haven't seen one in a long time awesome won't keep him out of the water for long very cool very cool <sighs> Sweet. Came over to the other side of the beach now, and I haven't seen a sea hare in a very long time. Let's say hello. How you going, mate? Haven't seen one in a long time. Even when I came to the beach to look for uh, micro shells the other day, probably about a week ago, I was looking in the higher tide pools, and I didn't even see any of these guys. 
they've all just been completely thrown around by the rough seas lately. Pretty cool. I actually see another one here, look. Very cool to see them back. Same with the cucumbers, always see the cucumbers. There's another sea hare. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's check it out under this rock. Whoa, I see a lot of cowries. First, starting off with this Arabian right here. Oh, cool, it's got a bit of a crack there. See a couple of things down there, but they look like really old cowries. Ooh, strombus. It's pretty broken, but I think I'll keep it. Don't usually find those often here anymore. I used to find them often. I gotta get out of here, actually. Gotta be pretty careful today. It's pretty uh, all over the place. A couple of nice ones. I reckon we're gonna do well today. I haven't seen anyone else here looking for shells. Nothing down there. So hopefully we can... Whoa! I found my first one of these like a week ago. Heck yeah. Whoa! It's alive! Whoa! See, it's Operculum? That's freaking cool. I've only ever found one of these in a previous episode. It's massive, about that big. And this one has the Operculum, so it's a live critter in there. Looks like the shell has been super beat up. I'll try to get it out far in the water as far as I can. Probably won't toss it, because it's probably been shaken up enough already from the storms. Let's have one last look at it. That is rad. Can't believe it. We'll place him down here. Ugh. There you go, buddy. He has a much better chance of uh, living down in there rather than up on the uh, rock faces down there. That was freaking cool. Never found one of those live. I only ever found one empty one. That's rad. I want to check it out down here. Probably won't be able to though. Because it's still a bit high. <laughs> what do we have? What is that? Just a clam piece. Don't see much else. I'm going to come back when it's lower. Here. Pretty devastating down here. We have what looks like a big old checkered bonnet, but as you grab it, it's got two giant holes. Would have been such a nice color too. Really nice bright pattern. It's kind of cool. It's like two windows into the shell. I don't know guys, comment down below again if you think I should keep this one. I think it's pretty cool. It's something unique. Hmm, hard choice. Comment down below for me. Help me, help me guys. Help me make the decision. to see this thing what on earth is this oh it's conjoined what that's freaking huge that is for sure like a giant uh scallop that is massive not sure if it's alive it's it's closed so that's like my main indicator that it is alive but it's like super broken as you can see here there's like a whole like slash right there pretty crazy i'm obviously not going to take it i can almost guarantee it is alive because it's like it's got some weight to it it is really heavy um I'm not sure where these guys live whether they live underneath rocks or out in the sea so tide's coming up soon anyway and this area here doesn't uh like go dry so we'll leave it tucked away right under there so no poachers can get it well, we've got a couple of the classics here other than that, we got, oh wow, that was a nice little handful. Got a little zebra volute and two little classic moon snails and a blue cowrie. Oh, that's super nice. Nice. 
A couple of nice classics right there in this pile here. That's really cool to see though. I've never seen one before. Looks like we got some pretty cool scallop hiding in here. Oh, that's pretty different. It's got a lot of sea sponge on it or something. I never ever find these uh, conjoined like this. It's pretty interesting. Huh. Probably won't make it home, but I'll try. Then we have a volume down here. Yeah, pretty old and broken. Not sure if I'll keep it. It's full of sand. Yeah, that's sand. I don't know, guys. Comment down below. Should I keep this volu? Yes or no? I don't know. I'll hang on to it and think. But I'll see if this will make it home for sure. Don't you just love the finds like this? That are stuck in between like rocks and algae and that sort of thing. So satisfying. Yeah, nice. Nice little bonnet shell. What did I guys tell you? What did I tell you guys? They are everywhere. Love them. Classic Australian bonnet shell. Can't beat that. Whew. Always though, it's it's kind of sad to see. Like, as well as bonnets being washed up after storms, a lot of the coral gets destroyed and washed up like this. It's a shame. I guess it makes homes for like all the critters around the tide pools but that coral was still living at one point so it's kind of sad to keep heading down the beach yeah, save of the day maybe number 35 uh looks like this guy might be a bit stuck here as you can see it's really hot in here with all the sun and the uh, tide is not getting any closer to it. So I'm just gonna help him move through here. Looks like he's a bit stuck. Oh, is he? If I can just help him. Actually, you know what? I think he'll be okay if he can squeeze through there. Alrighty. Maybe half save, I'm not sure. Let's just sit here and make sure he gets through there all good. Make sure he can do it. I'll just wait for him. Of a bit more water, a bit more cooler water. There you go, buddy. Yep, looks like he can get through there for sure. All right, mate. Good to see you. And let's check out Checkered Bonnet Bay. Haven't been here in a long time. Good to see it. All feel, still very healthy. Wow, I haven't seen this in a while. Hopefully there'll be some nice shells.